Little hop along back for another day of Let's Play Westland Survival. And uh, we're finally going to make our way to the Stone Plateau. We talked about this for a couple of episodes. Um, this is, um, I think as of the most recent update, the first place you can acquire copper without it being like a special thing, I guess. Um, but at any rate, if you notice, I'm kind of following this path of the icons outlined in green first. Um, I think for the most part, that's kind of where you get the most basic materials. And at the very least, some of those materials can possibly be traded for the next step up. So if you're low on energy, low on space, low on um, time, you know, visiting those places often enough and some interactions with... Um, shootouts, traders, bandits, and going to the town can uh, help you level up too. Just another thought that occurred to me. And uh, we should actually be going in here any second now. As always, we're living off the land, grabbing the first few things we see, killing anything that attacks us, um, hunting down what's going to become meat and fur, and keep an eye out for Wendigos, because I do believe one shows up on this episode. It's definitely the right time, and um, if I'm not confusing this plateau with the um, first place where you get, I think it's the mountain plateau, um, where you first get an abundance of tin. Um, and one of those two places, you might see the spirits of the dead rise and attack an Indian tribe. And um, if you're there, they're going to eventually attack you, so you may want to help them out. But we'll see if any spooky things happen tonight. Another thing I like about the game is the fact that you can experience day or night in the game without it being day or night in reality. I have to look up and see what... Um, it's like the time frame, the time differential. Um, and here I'm just basically spreading out all of my stuff to kind of narrow down my search. So I can just search, um, audio search. Uh, still got the problem with that rock though. But with that combination, and the right, I guess, proportions. I would just be able to get the auto and let it run to copper. That's what I was thinking. As I'm watching it now, the option would have been to shut this and swap that rock out. Come back and get the rock. But I'm pretty sure I didn't think about that at the time. Okay, so I had forgot about the horse. So in the case of someone not having a horse, that's what you could have done. That's the cool thing about this audio mode. Okay, so here come the spirits of the dead. And I think the Wendigo might even show up. I just remember being a 
wild and crazy night. And as you see, I'm kind of off my game now, trying to get back oriented. The gold is copper. This is a setup. And I think a Jaguar. I oh, probably should have kept the Cougar. I mean the Coyote. And I'm not sure. I might have been able to get that Jaguar. Uh, lots of rabbits. And this is so much easier, quicker than the bow. This gun isn't really effective against people and big predators, so um, it's good for rabbit hunting, boar hunting, coyotes if necessary. But I've had a good couple swords, and if I had a good crew of coyotes, you could pretty much run through here. And not get killed by anything as long as you were actively fighting as well. And you have space for that computer player. At least I read somewhere that they were not actual players. Ah, oh, look at that. Clothes on the go. And we need them all. And from there, we pretty much need everything else. Except for that sack, maybe that club, and those pants. Got a treasure chest, may as well check it out. Well, we're trying to fill up, pack the most efficiently, I guess you should say. Target rewards. Auto search. I'm trying to steer away from rocks, but they always seem to get in the picture. He actually did skip around at that time. Great. So yeah, the components for making bronze. We're looking for copper, we're looking for bronze, we're looking I mean Copper, tin, um, brown rock. Shell would be bad to have as we are upgrading a lot of the floors for workshops and storage. <laughs> Sorry about that. Repair kit is very necessary. The watch, charcoal if you can. We already have a torch. If Wendigo comes out tonight and we actually use the torch, um, you'll see how quick it burns and if it was worth trying to get it. But at this point, uh, let's try to break that um, those axes. 
and make space. So inventory is full, you can't pick up anything, you can't break anything. There's nothing to search for. And that luckily brought us back to the Howl Horse where we can load up some stuff. Like the repair kit. And we're desperately searching for rock, I think, at this point. Brown rock would be good. Hmm. I guess there's no Wendigo tonight if we left that torch. Trust me, we did not survive the Wendigo without a torch on hand. Unless we would have run back. Yeah, this gets really tricky. Bear with me. Still have to pick up the fur. So quite a bit to get. We've still got animals running around. Like when we leave, we will know that we have done the best we knew how at the time. There it is, the brown rock is exactly what we were looking for. But we need an axe. Or a pickaxe, I should say. So at this point, it's can we make a pickaxe on the go? And that's enough to make a pickaxe. So we can move some of the cold around. A better move would have been to move some of the coal around just to make room for a pickaxe. And we do need to start gathering that. The man I'm also gonna have regular rope and some rags. Bandages are cool. Remember, we are still trying to stock our medicine cabinet. Definitely get those uh, tubes and scrolls and that those metals. Like I said, I think at this point I hadn't remembered the value of the rope because I wasn't making anything that required rope until the loom. I mean, until the uh, armory table upgraded, and at that point I knew to use the jute rope which I can acquire also by trading the regular rope uh, I think that's something to just eat at that point it would have made a better bigger steak but with that combination and just being weary being here I think we found shoes finally. Great.
when everything just locks in and you don't have to pick and choose. It was forever before I noticed a ragamuffin because they usually have the most rags and rope. So yes, gotta start in my own play. Make them room for rope. Or at the very least, the things that make rope. I guess on some level, because I'm not using a lot of uh, fiber to make a lot of fabric. And it just recently occurred to me to start making more of the regular cloth so that I can make those bandages. But right now, I am building up my sobs again. I was very encouraged at one point that I had close to 10 of each of the three and uh, wiped them out in series of play right before I think this video series. Uh, got a lot of other cool things out of it but trying to find a better balance. Inventory is full. Sounds good to me. Maybe not to the horse. We can make that one extra bandage. Or go home. Rocks are so valuable at this point for me at least still in the game. Imagine until I've upgraded all of my floors, all of my walls, all of my doors and windows. Um, and get to a point that I'm not so reliant on the rabbits for meat and fur that I still have some time to put in in the pine forest. I'm sure there's another strategy or two or a few or a million um, but that's what I figured out so far I pretty much got everything here eat the steak and take the bear claw enough of those will get you iron in the uh, what do you call it the um, Indian territory, but it is a mix of the two, um, bear claw and wolf claw, I believe. So some went wrong there, but we got it all. Brown rock is good. I guess at one point I wasn't making as much of the iron ore and I guess exclusively using it to make the bronze and so now that I'm using it for both I see where I'm consistently running out of it. Definitely want to look at getting some more pickaxes for that pass um, into the Indian Territory because that would be another place where I can get a lot of brown rock. Um, it will be a lot of axes, but um, easy farming, no animals, no predators, no villains, it's just whatever trees we grow, and whatever rocks are left. I'm excited to see this bridge, I don't know if we showed that in the map yet, I'm going to look for that later, but... There's a bridge to the south and the east. Um, a little east and a little south of the town, um, past the 
most difficult buffalo pasture to the south. Um, it requires a lot of building. Um, I think it was about maybe, I don't know, 40 to 80 boards of some type. Um, there are four items, and I know that I've gotten two of the four. I'm still working on tar, which you cannot make. You can only trade it um, to, I think his name is Christopher, in the town. But it's like 20 boards plus 20 bronze and some other item I can't even think of right now just to get one. And there are a few tasks if we were spending more time in the... Indian caverns and cave of spirits where we might actually acquire um, some things that will or do some tasks that will merit us some um, the uh, stuff we need I was just kind of thinking through that strategy. We'll talk about that more soon. Actually, there's some mirror there. And at this point, we're just trying to figure out getting more of the brown uh, rocket possible. We're talking about the bridge and um, trying to get the tar. And I think I have two of the tar. I know how to acquire another two. Um, but pretty lengthy goal there. And then on top of that, you need a hundred iron nails, which is quite a bit considering the fact that I'm just getting to the point that I can build guns um, to even go into territories to wire, iron, ore, and the cloth. Um, so we're going to lay off on the bridge for a minute, but um, hopefully at that same time, in this process of repeating the bandit shootouts and things like that, we will find what we need to get the wagon, which will let us go further and carry more. So yeah, that's it. That's the um, Stone Plateau. And um, as always, we're going to come in and dump off our equipment and start thinking about our next target. Which I believe, if there's no interruptions from trader opportunities, is going to be the Copper Mine. Let's see what happens in these last few minutes. I think you see my kind of pattern of play here that you always come in. Um, think about different ways of cutting this video shorter, these videos shorter, but um, you know, you see my pattern of coming in, checking everything that I can make that makes more space. Um, ideally making the things that I need most immediately. Balancing out how I'm spending the resources. Thinking about what I can wait on. This will change my mind about my next target quest. But right now I'm thinking I do want a lot more copper. So I believe the copper mine is the next goal. And somewhere in there intermittently we're going to see some trading opportunities. And a shootout. 
which is kind of cool. In terms of seeing action, I think I'm actually working on this up right, right now. But in terms of seeing action, and you know, it just occurred to me, sorry tangent, but um, the time that I spend making a video is also some time that I'm killing while I'm waiting for my upgrades. But um, shootouts and things are a great opportunity to get a lot of different um, ready-made items, repair kits, um, tools, fabric, uh, weapons, clothes, or or in its different forms, different process forms, wood, minerals, rocks, and the same. And um, at this point, we're still, you know, trying to balance out all these priorities of securing the home. Just had a bandit run and um, it's a good idea to start looking at you know where we can make more of the walls um, and some of those things that we just did too may make for good material for trading later i've been trying to keep these in order of when i actually played them and i think it is kind of getting a little out of order um, up until this point, I know for sure that it is in order. Um, just using that bandit attack as a most recent reference point. But in between, excuse me, editing these, I have been playing, and a lot of it's just been the repetition of going back to the pine forest for the basics going back to like for example right now my goal primarily is twofold to get more medicinals and to get more of the ore I think copper and bronze at this point for me Um, but the next biggest goal is to, currently at least, is to um, get all the way up to the iron mine in the Indian Territory. Um, you know, basically being warm enough, it's probably going to take two um, full outfits because you have to stay warm enough. Um, you're going to have to have a great pair of guns four ideally I'm thinking three to four um, to take out all of those bad guys who are a bit more tough who are also going to be taking out your warm weather gear um, and then on the pickaxes stick a dynamite just in case there's a hidden cave uh, lots of healing so I think, yeah, that's probably going to be when I feel like it's time to go. When I next get the uh, medicinals all filled up, get the two or three, three or four respective guns that I'm aiming for. The Beretta would be great. Um, another Indian musket would be great. I can make a couple guns. I can repair a couple guns. So we're also making some repair kits for those currently. But, um... And uh, we can make the clothes for the most part. So looking forward to playing that. Um, for me, it's a place I haven't been yet. It's going to be a place that's going to have a great yield in terms of all of the iron I'll be able to produce, which upgrades pretty much everything that I currently have. And just have a steady, having a steady supply of iron is the goal, I guess, pretty much here. We can pretty much always go back for copper. We can always go back for tin to make bronze. Iron is the one that's the most elusive, but also the one the most needed right now. 
and that would actually go back to the theory I was working out in my head with the bridge um, give me enough iron ore to make that hundred nails I think I only have to make about somewhere between 60 and 90 um, of those nails but being able to get that would be huge and being able to get that and use that more often than I use copper and or bronze um, would allow me to make some of the things I need to make and store until I can earn the other 8 of 10 tar to be able to bridge. And the time that that takes also lends itself back to um, acquiring everything for the wagon. But um, at this point, we're uh, locked and loaded to go to the copper mine. Let's see what happens when we step out of the door. If there are no messages. So great, no traders. We're going to the copper mine. And that's where you'll find us next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.